<laughs> I'm just setting up this live stream. No one knows this live stream's going. This is Shelby Street Diecast. As always, these live streams are never announced. Sometimes I'll announce them, but usually Shelby Street Diecast is my for fun channel. I post my customs here, I post my whatever videos here. Uh, it's not monetized. It can be. It's more than a thousand subs. I can monetize it, but I choose not to really for now. Just to keep it fun, man. I, it's a fun channel. So those of you who tune in, you know what's up. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm going to, um, what I'm going to do today is um, I'm going to uh, do an unboxing. I just got it in the mail literally five minutes ago. I ran downstairs. This was in the mail. I'm like, I don't want to do like a whole video where I film it and edit things and blah, blah, blah. So I cracked it open to take the uh, thumbnail that you saw. That's it. I, I know what's in there. I bought it. But um, <laughs> what happened with this was... Um, by the way, I usually make these live streams for people to watch later. I'm just recording them live. So if anyone shows up to watch this live, feel free to uh, comment in the live chat. It's all good. Um, you're just here with me recording this video. <laughs> so um, what this is, is an epic box. I got this box from Whatnot. You guys know what Whatnot is. Um, and I got this not from Mustang Queen, where I usually get my stuff. I got this from her homeboy, from her boy, her main squeeze, Vic. Some of you might know him as Diecast Creepo. Um, two E's, not E-A. I made that mistake once. He's like, no, man! Diecast Creepo, not Diecast Creepo. I was like, all right, calm down, bruh. So um, anyway, uh, he was doing a whatnot thing. It's obviously called diecast creepo so uh he doesn't do them too often and usually uh mustang queen ends up taking over for him because he's like ah oh. but anyway this one he actually rocked the house man he um i didn't know he was going live i just showed up i'm like oh shit look at him diecast creepo's live um you know so i was like oh, i'll see what he's doing <laughs> And this guy starts like with like dollar dollar stuff, you know, like eh, you know, I'm like, what the hell? Like, you know, bone shaker, like some crap. I'm like, well, whatever, man. So uh I just ended up bidding on it because Diecast Creepo always does free shipping. So whatever you buy, <laughs> you don't pay for shipping. So I'm like, bro, so if I get this one dollar freaking car, I don't have to pay you anything else, you just ship it to me for free and that's it. Yeah. So uh, I hung around. Then next thing I know, like one dollar things turned into <laughs> turned into like five dollar things. Then those five dollar things are valued at like fifty dollars, and I'm like, these people aren't bidding on these things. I'm gonna bid on this stuff. <laughs> I got some chases. I got some rare things. None of this stuff is anywhere near what I paid for it. Like I paid like nickels and dimes compared to what this type this stuff is worth so um vic thank you i hope i hope <laughs> i i know you lost money unless you got this stuff for like nothing or you or it fell off the truck and you acquired it legally you know what i mean uh, wink wink nudge nudge uh, uh, uh. anyway um <laughs> oh i see there's a couple of you guys watching hold on i'm sorry let me acknowledge the folks here Ah, it's my boy Cameron. What's up, man? Monkey Shine Lab in a house. Life is not what not. Life is what not. <laughs> Molly Ringwald said, oh, okay. 16 candles. That's right, man. That's probably where they got that from. But anyway, I'm going to sit my ass down right here. Oh, at the desk. At the old nostalgic uh, den. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, um... Oh, that's much better. I'd rather be sitting here than uh, standing over there just because there's die cast behind me. You know what I'm saying? I got shit all over, just like uh, you, Cameron. I got stuff everywhere. <laughs> so, this box, man. Wait till you guys see this. So, Cameron, if you hang out, get to see this live. Those of you watching this later... You guys are in for a treat, bro. Uh, this is going to be so awesome stuff, man. 
Um, also, don't forget, everyone, tune in tonight. I think it's at 8 o'clock. I'm premiering on my Nostalgic channel. Uh, I got a box from Chris Sheets, and Cameron, you reminded me, because apparently Cameron got a box, too, from Chris Sheets. Ghostbusters Quick Response Unit 13A. Uh, he just randomly sent stuff to us. So uh, I'm going to be doing that uh, premiere at 8. I don't know when Cameron's doing his. Let us know, Cameron. But, oh, my God, some awesome stuff from that guy. Jeez. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, let's uh, let's tear into this box, man. I'm excited, dude. Also, Vic's, Vic was, like, telling me, yeah, I'll ship that eventually. Uh, maybe by the end, at the end of this week or something. Like, he had me, like, strung. But I guess he shipped it and then was, like, messing with me, you know, because, like, I really wanted this. <laughs> So, uh, apparently he shipped it, and it's here. So, to me, it's a huge surprise, man. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I'm excited about this because, like I said before, some of this stuff, like, I looked it up. I know this stuff is not cheap, man. Some of this I'll tell you how much I paid. Some of them I, I won't, but uh, no that I did not spend anywhere near the value of this stuff. So I'm super excited. So remember, guys, go to diecastrepo.com. You can actually get 15% off if you buy anything on his website. He's my friend, so I'm shouting him out. So diecastrepo.com or on whatnot, the same thing. Okay. <laughs> Sit down. Stay. Good boy. Uh, whatever, Cameron, you little monkey man. Uh Chris is great like that. Yeah, Brandon. What's up, Brandon, by the way? <laughs> uh, Cameron says, I opened Chris's box this morning. Amazing contact. Nice, dude. Is is your video up yet, Cameron, or later? Let me know. Uh, random Rick reviews. Stuff! <laughs> exactly. What's up, man? Uh, okay, so I guess we're starting strong because uh, this was actually something that they kept showing to people. And people were not, I guess the right people weren't in the chat yet. Um, I don't know if you guys know what this is. <laughs> you can't go to the store and get this. Let me get this out of this big ass freaking... Uh, oh, he took the thing off. <laughs> Good. The original price. I am like, I'm so excited about this. What's on the back of that? Yeah, Johnny Lightning case. <laughs> Special. This thing is freaking crispy new. Wow. So this thing is from... Give me the year, mofo. Uh, 2003, guys. 2000 freaking three. This is 21 years old. 21 years old. That's a long time. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cameron says, gotta film it. I opened it off camera because he doesn't want a lot of spotlight, but there's original art, etc. So I'm gonna do a regular... Dude, I know he doesn't want it, but if you're sending me stuff, for example, if you're sending my ass something, I'm gonna make a video on it. I'm a YouTuber. So unless you like specifically like... Bro, don't put that on camera. I don't want it. Don't. Just don't. That'll be like, fine, you know? Kind of like Buddha, Chris. Uh, so, yeah. If, if you're like, don't do it, I won't do it. That was just a nod. Uh, but anyway, uh, so uh, what this is is a Honda Accord Custom by Johnny Lightning. Uh, it's from the Scrapen series. And uh, the reason why this is amazing is because this, ladies and gentlemen, is a chase. This is a super treasure hunt from Johnny Lightning. A white lightning, if you will. This is a Honda Accord. Honda Accord. <laughs> Look at it. Would you, would you, sir? Would you please look at this? Look at that beautiful 90s graphics. So fast and the furious. It's it just smells like smells like tuna, no crust. <laughs> so some of you might not 
maybe might not be fans of this type of thing or of old ass Hondas. <laughs> I'm definitely not a fan of Hondas. I am a fan of 90s Hondas and 2000s Hondas, like the old styles, you know what I mean? Uh, the ones where the taillights didn't look like parentheses. You know what I'm talking about? Every Honda Civic or whatever is this is their taillights, parentheses. <laughs> anyway, uh, so 100% diecast metal body, hot custom wheel styles, fat paint, and graphics. It's got fat paint, yo. <laughs> Age of six and up, so don't give this to a kid who's under six years old because they'll eat this and probably choke on it. That's why there's a sign. So this is licensed. Wow, wow, wee, wah. There's your back. Man, I got some serious lighting going on here. Like a boss. Look at that. It's like television grade shit. Ooh, I got a notification from eBay. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, they weren't like sure at first. They're like, we're not sure if it is a chase or not. But um, they said it was a chase, and that's why I pulled the trigger and bought this. So if this isn't a chase, uh, I'm coming after you, Vic. <laughs> so, but yeah, uh, apparently it is a chase, and um, they looked it up right before they put it up on sale. Um, that's when Lana actually put this up, and uh, I asked her to put this up because nobody was bidding, and I'm like, for that price, this 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 shit's mine, dog. Okay, I'm done using 90s terminology. So let me put this giant freaking protector back on here. Ah! Oh, guys, guys, check out these nuts, huh? All right, there's a lot more, kids, so stick around. This is just a live stream, I'm just hanging out. Hanging out on a Thursday uh, afternoon, late afternoon. Okay, next up is another Johnny Lightning. Uh, 2004 new cars. So this is new for 2004. So 20 years, guys. Now it's 2024. So 20 years ago, this came out for the first time ever. And boy, oh boy, was it grand. Let's have a look at it. Shall we? give it a quick little little wipe down with our little wipey towel this thing was fun because um, you could win uh, $10,000 there so if I open this and scratch it you think they'll honor it if I actually win 10 grand <laughs> but yeah this was five bucks this was five dollars um, yeah no one else was bidding on it so um, 2004 Nissan 300, uh, 350Z, uh, beautiful casting, white interior. Uh, it has a white base. Uh, I hope that doesn't mean it's a white lightning. If anyone knows Johnny Lightning, uh, usually white lightning has a white base. I don't think this is a chase, though. If it is a chase, it's a surprise chase for me that I paid $5 for. So this usually goes for at least ten bucks. Um, uh, sorry, I'm catching up on the comments. <laughs> bro, um, random Rick reviews. Bro, you can never be too proud of uh, corny ass jokes. Um, I like corny ass jokes, so uh, you know, don't don't give me any shit about these nuts, all right, buddy. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> there's your uh, ten thousand win or whatever. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I'm glad you get my humor, random Rick man. Uh, so yeah, uh, this one, you know, honestly, for me, this was like the main, main, main Mama Jama because I actually love the graphics on here. I love the colors and everything. Uh, that's something that I'm going to have a hard time deciding if I'm getting that out of the package and into my case or not, because that's beautiful, man. Not to preserve value. I don't give a shit about how much stuff's worth. 
it just looks awesome and it's like a little piece of history you know so then i got this we'll see what happens with this this might end up going to the uh, auction for ukraine so a lot of the stuff might end up going to the auction for ukraine uh hot wheels for ukraine thing that i do here on the nostalgic channel so we'll see about that i'm still deciding all right next up let's get these uh main things out of the way before i show you the really cool stuff man okay so i don't even remember i think he just threw these in to be honest with you oh he replaced um because i got that stupid bone shaker and the other thing you know to start the auction he just replaced those with better things so these were freebies so a little vintage Ma matchbox nissan 300 um zx ah. with just beautiful look at that pink interior come on now come on now look how cool that is look how cool that is boys come on now come on you all see my you want to see these nuts <laughs> uh but yeah look how cool that is that's beautiful man super fast and then there's another nissan 300 zx and this one i actually like the colors even more look at that god i really hate this uh headache inducing <laughs> headache inducing light bar but it makes things look nice come on now i can't pick up that phone call i'm live dude. i'll call you back <laughs> So there you go. Hopefully that didn't interrupt the stream. Let me know, guys, if I froze for a little bit. All right, next. Oh, damn. Mazda RX-7. I'm saving the really good stuff for last, so. There you go, Mazda RX-7. And then these I actually did bid on, I think... I think these went for a dollar to two dollars here's my first matchbox mazda uh so i am going to open this and do a review uh because after watching cameron's review on the porsche from this series uh he said there were like issues i'll be right back man <sighs> Sorry, 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 sorry. Good to see you guys are still here. <laughs> My apologies. Uh, life, responsibilities, people ringing on doors. <sighs> uh, that was a doorbell. <laughs> um, I know, someone calling me and freaking everybody at the same time. <sighs> All right, so... Cameron probably pieced out, but anyway, he did a Porsche thing, and the door sucked. Um, it was, like, crusty and, like, shitty. It just, it was shitty, man. Anyway, so I drive a Mazda, those of you that know. Uh, P5 2003. I love it. This I got for the Hot Wheels for Ukraine auction. I believe I only paid about a buck. 
that's less than retail. Free shipping. So I paid a dollar for this. Check out diecast creep on whatnot, guys. <laughs> Always free shipping. Oh, no way! They threw this in, too? Thanks, Lana! <laughs> oh, shit. All right. I might as well show the loose thing first. That's gonna be a keeper. Damn. Man, Vic Lana, you guys are awesome, dude. Look at this thing. This is a um, Toyota MR2 Spider. Yeah, that's right. This is from uh, Jada, vintage Jada, by the way. Jada, whatever. Uh, this thing's beautiful, bro. <laughs> So these are basically like the muscle machines. I'm going to show you a bunch that I picked up that are sealed. So you'll know exactly what these are. But this is metal base, metal body, everything. 164 scale. Beautiful detail everywhere. <laughs> this is like, it's 164 scale, but it's more like on the level and size of a Kaido house. So these will look amazing with the Kaido House collection I have. And uh, Lana actually opened this live because uh, <laughs> no, nobody bid on this. And uh, she's like, you know what? I'm going to keep this. And she opened it up and freaking looked at it. And uh, I guess she just sent it to me as a gift. So thank you, Lana. You rock, girl. Okay, so let me show you the cream of the crap. <sighs> Okay. Cool. Oh shit. All right. This is what I got. There's a bunch of other ones and better things to see, but so this is Dub City. These were selling for five bucks, man. This one's valued at about fifteen dollars. Uh, so. Oh, there you go. But, uh, yeah, Import Racer Magazine. What year is this? 2003. So, again, 20 years old. Dub City. Import Racer. Ugh. Where are you going to get a souped-up Toyota Celica from 2003? No one's going to make these these days. Not a Toyota Celica. <laughs> Look how cool that is. So yeah, this is definitely, I'm pretty sure this is going to end up in my collection as well. But uh, really cool, man. For five bucks, sealed, fresh, 20-year-old, beautiful, beautiful casting. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? People did start, um, like, after I won a bunch of these uh, on that whatnot sale they were doing, auction. Um, uh, whatchamacallit. Um people started to bid and then I, I like backed off because I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> people were like, $30, $40. I'm like, ah! Oh. But uh, I squeezed in there and got all these for like five bucks or less. So I really scored. Yeah, man, Brandon, hell yeah. Definitely a good era for imports. So um, that's where it all started, man. About 25 years old, all these imports. That's when I used to be a street racer, guys. I used to street race on the streets, first in Maryland uh yeah the washington dc area <sighs> then in philly on uh aramingo avenue uh i used to street race over there in my uh 1987 shelby dodge lancer turbo powered i had two of those cars yes carol shelby there was only 800 of those made and i had two of them and i raced them on the streets of philadelphia actually got away from cops once don't do that if you get caught, they take your car. <laughs> That's why I was like, well, I'm already running. <laughs> All right. Don't do not do that. I got stories to tell y'all. Okay, this was amazing. This is Mitsubishi Eclipse. If you remember Roman's car in Too Fast, Too Furious, check this out. Cover up my face. There you go. Look at this beauty, man. Gretty even back then. <laughs> Mitsubishi Eclipse. 
Look at all the sponsors. Every single endless mail side. Everything. Every single one, man. All licensed. This was this is valued at 50 bucks. I got it for five dollars, man. Five bucks. Diecast creepo, y'all. <laughs> Jada, the toys doesn't make things as as good as they did back then. So there you go. Collect them all. JadaToys.com. So yeah, 2003 right there. But yeah, how cool is this freaking car, man? I would rock this today. The, these cars hold up. So yeah. Look at that yellow seats. This is so cool. Oh yeah, just one seat. No, no, the other one's black. Okay. That's so cool. Beautiful. All right, what's next? Let me double check on comments. Those of you hanging out, thank you, man. I appreciate you guys. I didn't make the announcement for this damn video, so uh, it's just going live, hanging out. Uh, let's see. <laughs> living life a quarter mile at a time yeah man uh let's see uh i bought my first boo von du Lu says uh i bought my first pink slip uh, a few weeks ago the orange mercedes amg nice bro uh also bought my first muscle machines two of the four gt40s ah cool those are good too man all right next up all right, let's go with this. These were definitely someone's collection. There's like a little bit of dust. Okay. Now, again, I got these pretty much because they're Mazdas and I drive a Mazda. So uh, also Tokyo Drift, Fast and Furious. This car was there. Mazda RX-8. Look at that. Give you a little close up, a little reveal. Look at that beauty, man. <laughs> What's up, Thomas? Just showing off my incredible scores from uh from my man Vic. There you go. Just so cool, man. These days, if these came out, they would be like at a, you know, like, um, by the way, valued $22. They pretty much would be at that price, at a Kaido house price, basically, 20 25 bucks. So, what's up, Ryan? Old dude, what's up? <laughs> so, yeah, this is beautiful. Ryan, I'm just showing off my, uh, I'm recording live my uh, unboxing. Um of stuff I got from uh, Vic, Diecast Creepo, on his um, Whatnot sale. <sighs> Dude, you gotta check out uh, Diecast Creepo. He does free freaking shipping. So, like, all this stuff I got here, the shipping probably cost him, like, $30. <sighs> all right. Next up. Oh, okay, it's another it's another Mazda, but this is actually really cool because this one's definitely going in my display case. This is a um, Mazda Speed. Mazda closed that division, and a lot of us are hoping they'll reopen it, uh, restart it, or whatever. But um, yeah, Mazda RX-8 with Mazda Speed livery. That is truly a historic casting right here. How cool is that? Man, that's cool. I'm so happy I got these. I mean, look at the detail on the, the rims. Then the disc brake back there. These are Kaido House quality, man. Like, that's insane. And yeah, it does say they're 164 scale right there. But they're definitely a little bit... Let's, let me get the... Uh, I only have Hot Wheels to compare it to. I'm pretty sure those are the same. I think Hot Wheels is a little bit bigger. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. This isn't a review. <laughs> this is an unboxing. 
God, that's freaking cool, man. I love these, bro. I'm so happy. Dude, I got almost all of this for five bucks each, like I said. Uh, those of you who came in later, like Ryan, bro, look at this. I got the chase. <laughs> Honda Accord. This was a little more than five bucks, but I love the livery on that. So yeah, that's how cool is that, man? Scraping Johnny Lightning. Freaking 20 year old freaking chase. Yeah, 2003. Crazy. All right. Well, 23 year old chase. Okay. Next up is another import racer. Oh, shit. Keep forgetting this. <sighs> <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is 2004. So this is, wow. From 2004 to 2024, we have Import Racer. Look at this. Mazda RX-8. <laughs> I got three Mazda RX-8s, I know. But uh, where else am I going to get Mazdas, man? Hot Wheels. So look at that. With bride livery. That is cool, bro. So I'm sure that at least one or two of these are going to go to the uh, Hot Wheels for Ukraine auction. This one's 40 bucks. I paid $5. So very happy with that. God, man. The Import Racer magazine. I actually had some of these magazines back in the day. So freaking cool. <laughs> I love that. All right. Whew. Guys, in the end of this stream, I'll show everything again really quick while I'm putting it back in the box. So this is the last car, and then I'll show you. I won two of their giveaways <laughs> during the stream, two of uh, Vic's giveaways. Okay, this one is freaking awesome. There was another one that I that I missed out on. I guess it had yellow and blue colors. And people kept like bidding for it. I think it went for like 35 or more dollars. But um, before they showed up, I got this one for five bucks. <laughs> there we go. Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Uh, V-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I. <laughs> What's that? Uh, five six seven eight does that mean eight i don't know i don't know how to read those who knows roman numerals is that eight let me know let me know in the comments brah all right so import tuners <laughs> this one is 2004 also there you go eight cool thank you so i was right yay maybe i do know how to read them uh there we go Swift Celica, yeah. Yeah, look at this thing, man. So cool. Ah, oh, I got you, Cameron. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. This is so cool, but. This is the first time I'm looking at this stuff, guys. I opened this right in time for the live stream. All right. <clears throat> All of you are like, eight, eight, eight. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ryan says, uh, nice. I didn't know those existed. The detail is phenomenal. Yeah, right, dude? Like, I remember that they existed, but they're so, like, people don't know, like, like you said, I didn't know they existed. Neither did I. Did you know these nuts existed? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've been dropping these nuts jokes this whole stream. Okay, so. Uh, these are, I guess, the two. I thought I only won the one Givy, but I guess I got two or they just tossed one in. So uh, they tossed these uh, little keychains in. It's a Hot Wheels on the back. Uh, 
there we go and uh i believe that's a r34 sorry this light is blinding me yeah that looks like a r34 and there's a second one here both of these are probably gonna go into my next um auction for ukraine thing or just randomly drop them in people's boxes i have way too many keychains 5.0 mustang that's nice these are cool though little hot wheels nice little stuff okay so that was it that's it that's in that box um, um this is also something i picked up from mustang queen on her um whatnot look at that street weapon look at that much more detailed much more badass than freaking the hot wheels one um i'm gonna be doing an unboxing video and review and comparison video of this car and the hot wheels team transport one so keep an eye out for that <laughs> yeah man what not you know at first i was very skeptical i'm like what not man it it can be a danger if you're like weak and you're just gonna keep bidding and buying things you're gonna go broke quick but if you study it a little bit see like who sells things for very cheap what time of day no one's bidding on things who's a new like seller or whatever and you get in there just in time you can pick up so much stuff for way less than like retail even like half retail like i've bought things from people i was just like dude how, how are you you lost money like <laughs> how are you selling these things like that uh almost like vic he knows what he's doing but still like five dollars for these things that's you know ridiculous uh, i paid a dollar for this you know so um okay so i'm gonna show you everything i picked up uh backwards i guess uh but anyway uh this thing uh first of all yeah let me just i started with this because it was on top of the box so very proud of this this is like the cream of the crop for me for uh for what i got from uh diecast creep on whatnot um this wasn't five bucks but it was still um uh, i would say almost three times less than this would be on ebay so but uh i love the colors i love that uh not livery um livery is like advertisements and you know whatever this is more like just paint job, you know. Steve, what's up, man? Miniature Mustangs in the house. <laughs> I'm just showing, you're just in time, man. I just finished showing off everything I got from Diecast Creepo from his Whatnot sale and a couple of things from Mustang Queen's sale. And now I'm just showing everything off again backwards as I put it back in the box. <laughs> so you're here just in time, man. Uh, but yeah, guys, say hi to Steve. I always run into him. Well, I always sometimes see him on whatnot in different auction rooms. But uh, yeah, check this out, Steve. This is a chase of a Honda Accord Custom from Johnny Lightning Scrapin. This is a, a 20 from 2003. This is a 23, 20, almost 24-year-old chase in like perfect condition. I just love the paint job on that. Look at this. All right. When I really like something, I show it off for like two hours. <laughs> this is for my collection. No way in hell am I selling this. This is this might get opened and put into my case. I'm just not sure because it looks so nice in all of this as well. It's almost like a historic thing. Uh, I don't know. If you're a collector, you know what I'm talking about. Some things you're like, ah, I want to open it, but ah. <laughs> All right, then I got this for, for about five bucks. This was a Johnny Lightning uh, 2004, new for 2004, as you can see there. And if anyone knows Johnny Lightning, um, this has a white base. Does that mean it's a white lightning or it's just a coincidence? Like, should the wheels also be uh, white? But, I mean, this is uh, from... Is this one 2003 as well? Uh, 2004. 24 years old. So, it says it right here. Dumbass. 
Anyway, uh, but yeah. I don't know. It has a white base. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Is it a chase? In any case, beautiful little model. That'll probably go to the uh, Hot Wheels for Ukraine auction. Uh, by the way, I am going to be doing Hot Wheels for Ukraine uh, probably in March at some point, maybe near the end. So uh, I already have a couple of people sending in more customs for that. I have people sending in more um, die cast for that. So we're going to keep rocking the house for Ukraine. All right, then I got this thing. Look at that. Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 8. Thank you, guys. 8. <laughs> so beautiful little car. Again, very much on the level with Kaido House as far as quality and just detail and everything. Maybe not like headlights and everything, but uh, definitely scale-wise. It's 164, but it's a little bit, a little bit bigger. Just like Kaido House. So this is very beautiful. Then we had this import racer. Mazda RX-8. check that out with bride livery what an amazing car dude they made such like uh ryan is right man like they had it was so good back then 24 years ago most of us don't even know these exist <laughs> look at the beauty on this mitsubishi eclipse look at this there's the little card art just like the card art. No, nothing's being changed. Nothing's hidden. Maybe the five spoke rims. That's about it. Look at this beautiful eclipse. Just amazing. Man. I love it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Here's another Mar RX-8. I'm, I'm keeping this one for sure. Uh, because, like I said earlier, it says Mazda Speed right there. Mazda stopped that program for some reason. I hope they start it up again, once again, like I said before. That would just be amazing. Fantastic. Uh, then we have uh, Toyota Celica. This one's Dub City, not uh, Import Racer. But I thought it was cool, too, because no one makes uh, Toyota Celicas anymore. So this is something cool to have in the old collection. I do wish that they would do um, translucent plastic uh, headlight inserts instead of just painting it. But it's okay. Everything else is amazing, so... Oh! Uh, Steve says some things. Let's see... Ooh, Steve says I, I could probably come up with some customs. Uh, have you bought any more of JB's? Yes, Steve, I did, actually. And I'm going to put up one of JB's customs up for sale at the next uh, uh, Hot Wheels for Ukraine auction. Um, actually, I didn't even make a video on it. Let me show it to you, man. <clears throat> This is the last one I picked up from JB. This is going to go up for auction. It's a Camaro. Son of a... <laughs> Look at that. Man, I don't care who you are, man. This is awesome. <laughs> but yeah, look at that shinner. Look at that shine, the metal flake. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's there. A shiny, glossy beauty. So yeah, that's going to go up. I love his stuff, man. I have uh, I have one team transport, like the one you said, that you have a pink version of it. And uh, then I have the two uh, Fast and Furious ones that he did. Those are, those are keepers, 100%. If so, if any of you guys never heard of JB Diecast, definitely check out his um, whatnot uh, auction page. He he makes amazing customs. <laughs> 
But yeah, Steve, bro, if you can do any more customs for the Hot Wheels for Ukraine thing, I would be much obliged, sir. Like, <laughs> people love your customs and they always bid on them, so that would be amazing. <laughs> nice some bitch. That was the word that came out of my head, but I was trying to like impersonate him, but you no one can impersonate that that some bitch. <laughs> um <laughs> that's funny, man. You know, honestly, I was talking to uh, uh Steve, I was talking to Vic uh earlier today. Cause they him and um Mustang Queen Lana, they buy a ton of his customs. I'm like, that's a lot of money! Ah! Like I bought four and I'm like, oh my god, that's like they're like they're not cheap bro so yeah i'm kind of backing up a little bit for now like i can't you know you know what i mean steve you know what i'm saying but um uh i forget what i was trying to say <laughs> oh yeah i was talking to vic and uh actually that's why i have that's how i have this because lana won this so lana won this in the you know uh mystery box and I won the uh, the Galaxy, the one that said divorce on it or something. I don't know. <laughs> but Lana's she's the Mustang queen. So she was like, man, that sucks. I don't want that shit. <laughs> you know? Like, and he was like, come on, man. It's great. Look at it. Oh, no, screw you. Whatever. But uh, so I was like, Lana, man, if you don't want the Camaro, I'll happily trade you my uh, the divorce Galaxy for, for this Camaro. So that's how I have this. Even though I love this, I have the ones that I really want. So. Yeah. Uh, come on, chat. Where did it go? Oh, Ryan. Uh, yeah, it would look good in anyone's. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, let me uh, show you the rest of the stuff I picked up and put it away. Uh, here we go. Here's the Mazda RX-8 in green. Uh, uh, what is that? Tok Tokiko gas shocks uh, livery. Uh, oh yeah, I already showed that, the Celica, and then the freebie that Lana tossed into my box. Look at this beautiful little MR2, MR2, right? Toyota MR2 Spider. There you go, Spider. So really cool as well. So thank you, Lana, for the nice freebie. Uh, okay, then this I picked up for me because it's a Mazda for one dollar. Then I picked up this for $1 as well for the Hot Wheels for Ukraine auction. Uh, and then Vic tossed these in as freebies because uh, he didn't want to send me the $1 things I bought from him to start his auction. So he's like, man, do you really need that bone shaker, that generic ass bone shaker? I'm like, not really. I mean, maybe I would have customized it like 20 years from now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so he just tossed these in. Uh, Nissan 300, Mazda RX-7, and this uh, Mazda, um, Nissan 300 RX-7 as well. So, thanks, Vic. <clears throat> and I got this from uh, from Lana, Mustang Queen on whatnot. Gonna do a comparison, unboxing, review with the uh, Team Transport one from Hot Wheels. So, I don't think the wheels turn on this version. So, I don't remember. But it is limited. This one's 232 out of 499. All right. Steve says, I got one of his mystery boxes and it had a Nova. I didn't really care for it, so I probably send uh, you that one. Bro, yeah. Um, Steve, of course, please. If you don't mind, man. Uh, I hope we're going to have people that would be willing to put up a little bit more for those because those are at least, you know, 75 bucks at least, you know, so hopefully. Um, but yeah, those of you who are here, uh, I'm done with the unboxing. You just saw everything I got. So I'm going to show you my uh, JB customs that I have. Um, why not, man? Who cares? It's just a hangout. Definitely. Uh, Stop by the Nostalgic channel tonight, guys. Um, I'm going to be doing an unboxing box from Chris, Ghostbusters, uh, Chris, uh, Ghostbusters Quick Response Unit 13A. Brain still works. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he sent me a random act of kindness box with uh, amazing stuff in it. So uh, 
on Nostalgic, not here, not on Shelby Street. Shelby Street's just for fun, man. This is all I do here, just live streams and hangouts. All right, let me show you these. I'm also going to show some of Steve's customs. This is, these are the little cases I keep uh, some of my custom then. Alright, let's move this crap out of the way. Alright, so maybe I'll introduce some of you guys to uh, JB Diecast, and uh, maybe we'll have a JB Diecast at the Hot Wheels for Ukraine auction. <laughs> uh, we'll see. So, this was, I mean, there. these are all straight up, um, Steve knows, these are always on his thing, they're always... Um, mystery unless he's doing like get you know choose what you want from the back of the wall or whatever um but yeah the mystery thing's tough because like you could get some gold you could you could get like a note that says pick a, a team transport that's up on the table which is what this was i'll show you in a second i got lucky with that one uh, and I got lucky with these as well because I'm a Fast and the Furious fan. But hey, if I was there as a Mustang guy or a Camaro guy and I won a, a hot pink Supra, I'd be like, eh, no. <laughs> but me, I'm like, yes. <laughs> so it's luck of the draw, man. So, uh, but anyway, so here we go. This is uh, my first, first that I won from him that I fell in love with. Uh, there is no comparison that one blows the team transport one out of the water. <laughs> uh, so here you go. Look at this. This is hot pink. Like, that's not even the light. The pink on this is so electric. Like, even in person, you're like, ah! But it's really cool. I love it, man. It's just like the, you know, Fast and Furious. But, um, you know, it's pink. <laughs> There we go. So, God, that's freaking... I'm trying, maybe I can, like... There, it's so hard to show the pink. Anyway, you get it. It's freaking pink. <laughs> oh, man. All right. And then this one was also another... Another bit that I got lucky with. By the way, he got new cases, which are very way nicer than these and more professional now. I haven't gotten one of those yet. Uh, this was the R34. So he basically combined um, the Eclipse livery from uh, Too Fast, Too Furious. Then obviously the R34 from uh, also Too Fast, Too Furious. But that one was, you know, the iconic uh, silver. And... That's also Eclipse, um, the other Eclipse from The Fast and the Furious, the same hood livery on that. So Eclipse, Eclipse, R34 from three different movies. So uh, all into one. So I thought this was kind of cool too. Stop focusing on my eyes, camera. There you go. But yeah, beautiful paint job, as you can see. Very glossy, very creamy. Just really nice. All right. Hmm. Okay. And here it is. This is um, when I pulled the team, team transport. Look at this beauty, man. Yeah, he opened that box up and he's like, well, Nas, guess what? <laughs> uh, so, yeah. You lucky son of a bitch. So, yeah, he had a whole bunch there to choose from. It's not easy. Let me get this out of the box. Definitely not easy to choose. And uh, I was kind of choosing between a Honda Civic team transport and this. Then I was like, why Why would I want a Honda Civic? What? I like them. I like them just fine. But this gasser, I like much better. Look at that, Harley Davidson with beautiful white wheels, kind of like a chase. Look at that. Look at that two-tone roof 
with that beautiful gold and bronze mixture. Look at that headlight detail on that bad boy. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, the truck itself, the same thing. Also two-tone on top right there. Just fantastic. <clears throat> whoop, whoop, something new here. Uh, I was surprised, uh, Steve says, I was surprised you chose the gasser over some of the other offered. Yeah, man, <laughs> me too. But, you know, I was thinking and the only gassers, nice segue, Steve. The only gassers uh, that I have in my collection are one is by you that I won at the last auction. And the other one is by um, Eddie. So here's the Eddie one. You know, the Godfather. This was the uh, Operation Iraqi Freedom piece that he did. There you go. Simple customs right there. <laughs> there's uh, there's Eddie's piece. Also fantastic job. And uh, here's Steve's miniature Mustangs. Dude, you did great on this, man. Love the little candy striper thing. Kind of on the top. Amazing detail on your engine right there. Look at that. Great wheel choice, blue and gray wheels, perfect. Look at those X's on the headlights. God, this light's killing my eyes, bro. <laughs> love the Sunoco livery. I use Sunoco, by the way. I love their uh, 94 grade. So perfect. Yeah, I was bidding on this boy when it came up. I'm like, I need that gasser. <laughs> so... I, hey man, I'm a car guy first and foremost. Like I'm, I'm not a loyalist to anything. Um, you know, I, I learned early on in life that it's not worth um, just being loyal to one company or whatever. It, you know, it's just not. <laughs> so I love my Mustangs the most of any any car that I collect in my collection. The most are Mustangs. So I don't really make that obvious, but it is. I can fill every case I have here with my Mustang collection. So Mustangs all the way, Steve. That's why that's how I found your channel, man. I was looking for Hot Wheels and Mustangs and I stumbled on your channel. So uh yeah. So yeah, definitely the uh Mustang, then DeLoreans, then you know, I just love all sorts of cars, man. I grew up around cars, collecting cars. Uh, went to car shows with my dad constantly when I was a kid, both like, you know, auto shows where it's new cars and like the stuff they do like in front of diners, you know, and uh, like the stuff you do, Steve, where uh, where your beautiful white Mustang win wins all the awards every time. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, shit. Look at this, guys. I have another one of Steve's customs here. Thank you for this one, Steve. This was very, very nice of you to hook me up with. Your purple and yellow Batmobile. So honored to have this in my collection, bro. Isn't this thing beautiful? Freaking awesome, man. Uh-oh. Did I just see someone pop up here? Chris, speak of the devil. <laughs> What's up, Chris? I was just telling people to uh, tune in today. I'm doing a premiere unboxing a box from you <laughs> on Nostalgic, not here. Uh, God, what did I miss? <laughs> you missed everything. <laughs> I'm actually, I did an unboxing from uh, Vic, Diecast Creepo, all the stuff I picked up. Check that out later because I already showed everything twice. Um, so uh, definitely check that out, Chris. And uh, yeah. I told people to go to uh, unboxing of your box tonight. I think the premiere is at 8. I don't remember. Uh, why not check it out? Uh, your videos. View your channel. Where's that premiere? Oh, Burpsy's videos. Show me when's the premiere, Nas. <sighs> yeah, I was right. 8 p.m., guys. Nostalgic channel. Premiering unboxing from Chris. So... Be there or be uh, an obtuse triangle. Uh, okay, let's see. 
Yeah, I was also showing off uh, some of the uh, JB diecast customs that I have. And uh, let's see. I'm going to be putting this one up for the Hot Wheels for Ukraine auction that we'll be doing in March. Yes, another one on the Nostalgic Channel. I So here's the thing. I was going to do, uh, since I started an account on Whatnot, also Nostalgic. Go away, fly. Jeez. I'm trying not to murder you. <laughs> fly away. <laughs> Go live. Oh, God. Get out of here. Cut you. Okay. Nas versus fly. <laughs> Live. <laughs> All right. So uh, where was I? Uh, oh, yeah. So I was going to do... Um, one day I'll try it out. I'll see how it goes to sell things on there. And Vic and Lana was were kind of coaching me and telling me, like, how to do things and stuff. So, like, I kind of get it. But at the same time, there's fees. And then there's, like, all the shipping stuff that you have to kind of get done in two days or whatever. Not that that's a problem. But uh, the fees might be an issue and uh, a bunch of other stuff. I don't know, like, to get people to actually go there. And not everybody has whatnot. Um you know, and you have to, like, register with your credit card to be on there, which is awesome because it makes things quicker and easier. But I'm kind of like, you know, people kind of know what I do here. So even if I don't, Chris, even if I don't get you to, like, be my wingman for that, I, I think I'm still going to do it on my Nostalgic channel. Um, even if it's just, like, the usual crew. Like, I usually buy a ton of crap. My friends buy a ton of crap. It still works, you know, and uh, things don't go for, like, too expensive, I guess. I don't know. One day I'll give it a shot, guys. But uh, for now, we're going to keep going on the Nostalgic channel for now. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll, see how, we'll see how it goes. So, plus, I, I kind of have fun doing it, man. I, I have fun doing it on the channel. I just, I usually don't, like, promote it well enough, you know? Like, I feel like I need to make a couple of videos, like two weeks at least leading up to the auction you know be like guys the auction's coming here's what i'm gonna be auctioning off you know make sure you're there or be square or up to <laughs> whatever man so we'll see we'll see man plus i've been in uh, better moods uh, lately so maybe i can get it done <laughs> all good whatever <laughs> jeez <sighs> So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anything else y'all want me to see before I take a sip from this extremely old coffee? Mm. That was a mistake. Yeah. I think it's fermented. Ah, uh, save me, LaCroix. LaCroix. Ah, oh. all right. Oh. Oy. But yeah, um, all right, we've been on for a good hour. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to call it. Unless you guys have some questions. There's only a few of you in here. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, if not, I'm just going to wrap, wrap it up, man. And uh, start putting all this crap away. <laughs> but yeah, um, Steve, thank you for uh, the, the custom offer, man. Um, anything you can do would be amazing, bro. If you can just do the JB thing, that'd be great. If you could do at least one of your customs, that'd be amazing. We got to have a little uh, miniature Mustangs from you. That'd be freaking awesome. Um, Chris, man, uh, I'll talk to you later about whatever. <laughs> Remember, opening a box today on Nostalgic at 8 p.m. Not live, but it's going to be a premiere. Um, I almost cried in it. No spoilers, but he sent some awesome stuff that uh, made me happy. Uh, so, yeah, thanks, Chris. Uh, how does one keep such a fabulous beard? Um, you, <laughs> first of all, to get these beautiful grays, 
you have to go through a substantial amount of stress. <laughs> and then you pray that it goes in a perfect stripe like this and in perfect side stripes like that. So it's quite lovely. And then uh, every, you know, three weeks or a month or so, I'll get in there with a little, you know, little, little snips, little, little, little scissors, you know, and like do this and this. And you have to be very lazy. <laughs> that, that, that's the secret. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Steve says it's warm enough to paint outside today. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, nice, Steve. That's awesome, dude. Steve, bro, um, you've been inspiring me by like when I watch your videos and I see your paintings and you talk about your art and how you recently started doing art again. Same thing with Chris. He's been doing a whole bunch of art lately. Like watching you guys, like I've been getting very inspired lately to just freaking come back to art. Like eight years ago, I kind of simmered down. I still made art, but like very rarely. But, like, before I was wasting time on YouTube, I was full-pledged artist filmmaker. I was making art. I was going to art shows. I was going to Comic-Cons. Uh, I had my art in galleries selling. I lived and survived off of making art. So, like, watching you guys enjoy art and talk about it in such a pure form and make it with so much love, like... No, like, no bullshit. Like, you guys have inspired me straight up to, like, come back to it. So I really hope that, like, just get off my freaking ass, stop accumulating crap, <laughs> and start making art. Like, send me your positive artsy vibes, guys. I really want to uh, come back to this and just do it. God damn it. <sighs> <laughs> Buvon says, I want to see the Farah, Farah poster you're, hold, you're holding back. I don't have a Farah poster, man. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, Chris said, really? Hey, you have way less gray than I do. Yeah, but dude, I don't know that. You shave. <laughs> I need more stress. Dude, I don't know if you know this, Chris, but about, you know, two years ago, this was all black. You know, check out the YouTube videos from two years ago. Like, this was all black, man. Except for, like, where I have Vitiligo, there'd be a little white stuff there. That's about it. <sighs> but, yeah, Steve, thanks for stopping by, bro. Um, start with something simple. Just sketch. Yeah, man. I, I know. I know. I know, Chris. I will. Yeah. <sighs> I know what I have to do. I just have to do it, man. <laughs> Ten hundred. He's also like, I love this man. I watch his videos. Like, as I'm watching it, I'm like, I need to turn this off. I need to start doing stuff. Why am I not doing it? Yeah, man. I'll I'll start with something small. I really need to freaking do this. <laughs> I know. I've been following you. <laughs> following your growing gray collection. <laughs> Oh, uh, crap. All right, man. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in, Chris. Uh, always a pleasure. Hopefully, I'll see you around 8 o'clock for premiere of your video. <laughs> uh, oh, Steve's still here. All right. Uh, my daughter and I are doing another Bob Ross. Oh, we're doing another Bob Ross class next Friday. Dude, that's awesome. I'm so happy for you that you can do that with your daughter, too, man. My dad missed out on that, man. My sister's kind of... Anyway, that's a different story. Uh, you're blessed, Steve. Enjoy enjoy your time with your daughter, man. That's beautiful. Um, Chris says, I know how it feels. Uh, depression doesn't help you get motivated. to." Yeah, dude. Uh, exactly. Uh, that thing is a, is a beast. That and anxiety. <laughs> that stuff messes with you, man. That's why I chase a fly around with a scalpel. Dire! <laughs> Anyway, you know how it goes. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, cool. Uh, on that on that fantastic note, uh, I'm going to call it a stream. Thank you guys for popping in. I know I never announced these, so no one really knows this is going on. So those of you that somehow magically joined these streams, thank you. I appreciate that, guys. Um, I appreciate all of you. Um yeah, man. Hopefully you enjoyed me showing off what I wasted money on. Actually got amazing deals on, rather. Also buying from friends. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, it, it's been a good... Uh, this year kind of, you know, 
no jinx. Uh, this year's been going all right so far. So let's keep it going positive and all that good stuff. All right, one minute and ten seconds. I'm gonna go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, love, and unity. Nas out. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Later.